The guys, the guys are looking good. 90 Day The Single Life was doing the most tonight. First up, we caught up with Chantel. After her wild night out with her friends, they're all now going out for a classy day at an olive chateau. But it sounds like they might be headed for another party later in the day. Chantel, your booty is bouncing. Work, work. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Check that in. Oh, how long now? You Practice your dancing should... skills, because after your walk, we have to dance later. Okay, okay yes. Where should we dance at? Yeah, you know Where we going? Because I, I could dance. So a lot of former account to create, especially the females, feel very comfortable with us. Like we show them, like, uh, the clubs, everything, the nightlife. It's like a different way of uh, partying here, because, like, it's like for 24 hours. And party it up, they certainly did. Chantel can't wait to get out there and mingle with some new guys. I've been single for six months now, but in reality, Pedro and I hadn't been intimate for an entire year. So it's been over a year that I've been single. My cookies have been locked away, neglected. I'm sexy, I'm young, I'm in my prime. Bring on the men. It seems like the guys are big fans of Chantel as well. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. What do you think American women are like? Wow. <laughs> it's a very uh, fun to be with. Dancing is a little bit crazy, but uh, very exciting. Yeah, and uh, very good company. Yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. She seemed to be vibing it up in the club with Giannis, and he didn't seem phased at all by the fact that she's divorced. So she ended up giving him her phone number, and she seemed super excited about the prospect of getting back into the dating pool. I want to see where this can go. Okay, here, let me give you my number. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you later. We'll see you Let's soon. go. Tonight was a good night. I'm surprised that I met somebody who I'm interested in getting to know better. I feel real powerful about opening myself up to finding new love, but it's really scary. I'm scared that Maybe there'll be red flags that I don't see. So I'm going to trust myself and this process of finding new love again. Veronica's back. Historically, I've always been super quick to jump into relationships. It's never worked out well. She and Jamal have decided to have an exclusive relationship with each other. Hello, <laughs> look at you. See how it works out. You look nice. Thank you. You're always like this in the morning, though. I'm not a morning person. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Let's go. Things between Jamal and I have been going pretty well since we decided to commit to being exclusive. And we've been traveling back and forth between San Diego and Charlotte. <laughs> Do you see my egg cracking? That was amazing. I'm definitely still concerned about what the future holds. He's not a great communicator, and that's the only way this is gonna work. But it seems like they might be facing some problems, especially when it comes to communication in their long distance romance. You don't text back at all. I do text back. Like the next day. I don't think we have to talk like 24 seven. Cause then it's like, what are we gonna keep talking about? Like, I'm not gonna like, work, what are you doing you all day to death? Yeah, I know, I'm but sorry. like, it'd be nice to like know what's happening in your life. I'm more of a face-to-face -face kind of person. Uh, that's always been my vibe. Like, when we're here, we're here. But Veronica takes it personally when I'm not available to her. And I can see maybe an insecurity um, of her overthinking, like, oh, he just doesn't care to talk to me. Uh, but that's never been the case. Later, she met up with her ex-turned-bestie, Tim. And he's looking to get back in the dating scene. He went out to a singles event, and he was pleasantly surprised to see Louisa there, someone he'd met before. Louisa and I started talking years ago on social media, but we never got a chance to meet in person. I still can't believe, Tim, that, like, of all the people, leave it to you to find the one Colombian Latina girl in a bar full of Southern ladies. Isn't that weird? Like, literally coincidental. For the last 15 years, only Hispanics. No, it's not 15. It's like Tim, I was, seven. You met me 15 years ago. Uh -huh. I am Latina. Oh, yeah, but okay, I was thinking you said Colombian water. Oh, okay. Yeah, 15, okay. yeah. Okay. He ended up asking her out on a date and was super happy when she said yes. You have no idea. You made my night running into you. It was so nice to meet you, seriously. 
I, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I love your eyes. Well, thank you. You look very beautiful, too. Thank you. Natalie's still upset at Josh after finding out last episode that he's going to be traveling instead of helping her find an apartment and a job. I just want to make sure that you're okay. Josh is trying to make me feel like it's not a big deal. It is. It is a big deal for me, for my mom. If he would be in my country, just moved alone, with no friends, no work. I would never do this to him. I would never, like, said, oh, okay, I just find a place to live. Bye. But he apologized, and she said she forgives him. And they seem like they might be headed in the right direction. Yeah, I accept your apology. I just feel like I know how I am when I'm emotional, and it's like a typhoon. I, I think, like, if we could discuss it, I prepare myself and we build a schedule around it. I also don't want to fall into, like, the same patterns that we've had in the past where, you know, you get upset and then we don't speak. And I, and I don't want to do that. I want to work towards, like, a healthy relationship with you and, like, be on the same, like, wavelength. He did make good on his promise to help her find an apartment. But Natalie is super shocked about the high rent prices in L.A. It's $2,150 a month. This is on the lowish end for a one bed. Cost rents in LA are crazy expensive. Just simple, modest place in Florida you could rent, like much cheaper, much better. The money I have, like it's not much. Living in LA comes with a high price tag and it requires good credit. Josh wasn't so sure when Natalie asked if he could be her guarantor on her new apartment. And honestly, I get it. That's a big step to take. I just don't think like right now where we're at that, you know, we're ready to have joint anything. I need to feel secure in our relationship so you don't. first. You don't. Well, I mean, I need to feel secure. <laughs> so I, you need to feel secure. Wait, I'm in your country. Wait, wait, alone wait, wait. with mom. I need to feel. You need to feel. Okay, this is bull Next up, we have Tyree, who is getting amped up for his first ever date with Tiffany. Did you see yourself making first move? Um, you know what? I do kind of get the vibe from Tiffany that she likes, you know, the man to kind of, you know, be in charge and take, you know, initiative. But in my mind, I think she should definitely make the first move because she um, uh, liked me first. <laughs> but after arriving, he began to worry that she was going to be a no-show. I'm a pretty punctual person, and the date was at 7. I don't know if this is normal. I don't want to immediately think that, you know, she stood me up, but um, it's a lot emotionally. I am a little worried she won't show up. He waited for an entire hour for Tiffany to show up, and she never did. I'm hoping that things get better for Tyree later in the season. It took a while for me to, you know, get myself together mentally, you know, and want to actually go out and date again. So for this to happen, you know, on my first date, it's kind of like, like, damn, like, is it me? 